celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before. This is Gap, the Great American Broadcast Network. Hello, everybody. This is Alex Bennett, and this, of course, is the Ramble, uh, starting off another week. It is Tuesday night, and we'll have our citizens panel a little bit later, but let me just do a quick change of clothing, <laughs> and let's talk to my ex-wife, okay? Ah, all right. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. got to get it ready. My ex-wife. Take it, ex-wife. We go out to Oregon, near Portland, Lake Oswego. Do you go swimming in Lake Oswego at all? No, I don't. It's only for people who have homes on the lake. This the rest it, of us are to laugh. Uh, this is, of course, uh, ex-wife and the proprietor of TimeGoesBy.net. Her name is Ronnie Bennett. Yeah. Hi there, dear. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. How about you? If, well, at least I'm not an immigrant child stuck in a detention center. Oh, don't <laughs> get me started. Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah. It's just... And I just watched the president. This is Monday we're recording this. I just watched the president tell us that it's all Obama's fault again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, we can't figure out exactly how every every news I mean, person. I'm laughing, but it's it's just well, awful. Every every news person in America, and I think this even includes Fox, is trying to see the logic in that. You know, these were laws that were set years ago, and they didn't uh, they didn't. Uh, it wasn't about incarcerating kids. Okay, it was about protecting kids. You know, there's uh, that one photograph that you only see the little girl in oh, profile, yeah. you know, um, and, and you don't even see who she's standing next to. But you can tell that she's crying and she's terrified. And I, when I look at her, I can almost really, really remember what it was like to be that size and be scared of something. Yeah. I'm not, obviously, I've yep. never been in the kind of position these kids are, but certainly there were plenty of things to be scared of when I was little. And I remember that scariness. And, and now imagine you don't speak the, Engl the language where you are. You've been walking with your mom and dad for days and days and days. And it's hot and you can't cool. And now you're in a cage and they took your mom and dad away? What, what are we doing? We're, we're, we're terrible. This is not the America I signed up for, you know? No. I mean, uh, we're, we're not America anymore. We're not this, this. We have nothing to be proud of. Okay. No, not much. Yeah. Not much. Yeah. yeah. Yep. It's pretty yep. terrible. Yep. Yep. At least some people are responding. You know, who knows what will happen with this president, but at least people are responding. So much that goes on that is so awful just goes by us. Nobody pays any attention, and we're on to the next. Yep. Yep. So anyway, so how's, oh, I have a slight slap back here. Let me get rid of that. Okay. Uh, so how is everything out there with your life? It's going good? Well, it's an interesting week. Yeah. Um, as I said, we're recording this on Monday. Wednesday will be the one year anniversary of my surgery. That was for pancreatic cancer. It was called the Whipple procedure. It's a very big deal to get this far. Mm -hmm. Hardly anybody does, and it's a real, really important um, to me. <laughs> you know, it's important. And to, it's important. Did, it's important said, to me. It's important to me too. I mean, I want to see you live a while. And, uh, and what they did, you know, was cut me open from here to here, my whole front, and take out a bunch of pieces and whole organs and a few parts of others, and then rearrange everything. And um, and it's the worst thing that ever happened to me, ever. It's a real-life game of operation. <laughs> remove the kidney, remove the, yeah. Oh, I don't remember that. <laughs> I don't, don't know remember know the operation is. game? Oh. Um, and, you know, the doctor had been, or the surgeon, had been absolutely honest with me up front about how awful the recovery would be. But he didn't begin to make a dent in what, or I didn't really get it, I guess. It was the worst two months afterwards of my life. 
Yeah. Nothing comes close. And there were many, many times I woke up in the morning and thought, why did I do this? I should have just died. And then it got better and better and better. Little, tiny little increments at a time. But then five months ago, after some tests, the surgeon said that there was no cancer showing in the test. And so each of the tests have shown since then. So I'm one of the lucky ones. Well, um, I made it this far. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm incredibly aware that um, it often comes back, um, not always in the same place. And, uh, and, and that changes. I, I'm different. I'm not real sure how I'm different, but I'm different in that that is part of my life now. And, for, you know, I've been so lucky for 75 years. The worst that ever happened to my health was a bad flu. The worst. Yeah. And this was such a shock. That um, well, you uh, you were you and, were you, and now I yeah. live with it, and I don't know what I'm different, but I'm not real clear about how yet. Well, you were dealt a uh, um, a death blow, actually. I mean, uh, pancreatic cancer. Whenever that's the analysis, is usually they tell you to go home and just you know sort things out. You know, there's <laughs> no way to cure it, right? And yet there was a cure for yours, and uh, it's not. Uh, well, we're not well, calling well, okay. it a cure. Okay, okay. There was an operation Nobody for yours. Nobody calls it a cure for at least five years. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it's just there's no evidence of cancer right now. Yeah. And uh, you know, I went through all this other stuff of an internal bleed and then a clot, and they had to put stents in. I had no idea stents stents were for anything but hearts, but yeah. they are for other things too. Oh yeah. And that's worked out really well. The, the solution the doctors found seems to be working very well. So that's good. Now you, and, you, um, you were a smoker at one time. And I'll, oh, I'll, for I'll, a long time. I'll, I'll, I'll explain why in a second. But uh, you, you quit, right? So that... Oh yeah, that was the second worst thing I ever went through, quitting. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, thank you so very much because guess who started me smoking? I didn't like the cigarette. Uh, we, you, I was trying to impress you, and I, in fact, I think I even smoked what you were smoking, which was Newports. Oh God, when was that? A hundred years ago. <laughs> I, I started on a. But you're the person. If anybody says to me who started you smoking, I'm. I have to who say it was Ronnie. Who asked a question like that? Well, I mean, when I was a smoker, somebody asked me that. They don't they haven't asked me in the last. 25, 26, 27 years. I don't know how many years it is now that I haven't smoked, you know. But that was the most, that was the best decision I ever made, was to quit. It was awful for me. Yeah, I went to it, bed for five days. I couldn't get out of bed and cried a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You really? And I still, it's years and years, and I still miss smoking. There are times particularly I'm sitting here at the computer and I'm trying to write something for the blog, and I don't know where to go from here. I think, oh, I would love a cigarette. Jeez, you know. Yeah, I never, I never get that feeling. Never get that feeling. Once I quit, uh, well, my way of quitting was I, I didn't say I'm quitting because that, that's, that, that's sure failure. I said I'm going to see how long I can go without smoking. Oh, you know, before I finally did, I tried everything out there. I did hypnosis. I did patches. I did those little pills you can buy. Yeah. I, I've forgotten what all Well, I did the little are. pills. I did the little pills of Vantrons. That helped. I don't remember what they were called, but I know that that it was like an overdose of nicotine. They made me feel awful. Yeah. Um, and I um, <clears throat> And I actually quit now and again for, <clears throat> excuse me, for a year or two and then you know so that's why i don't dare go near all since the final quitting i don't dare go near a cigarette because in the past after i'd quit for a year or two get near one i'd have a cigarette and that would be it i'd go buy a pack so i just have to keep my well you don't want to do it today because a pack costs so much goddamn money you'd be broke well, what does it cost these days here in new york a pack of cigarettes ready for this hold on to your whatever you're holding on to 11 <laughs> bucks Really? Yeah. <laughs> I guess that'll stop you, won't it? <laughs> yeah. So if you have a two day, a two pack a day habit, you're spending twenty two dollars. But why? Why would the government or whoever sets those things? 
Why would they do that? If you're going to charge that much, just outlaw cigarettes. Well, you're get, you're getting pretty close to the point where you're going to get uh, like like black market cigarettes. It's going to be like prohibition, you know. Uh, but uh, in fact, there was a guy here who was selling illegal cigarettes, and he got shot to, to death by the police department here. Oh, they choked him. That was the guy they choked. What? Yeah, they what, grabbed what him. I hope that the, the cops were arrested and prosecuted. I can't remember what happened exactly, but they... they I cho- don't think selling cigarettes is an executable well, offense. That's right, but they grabbed him or something, and they uh, took him down to the ground and were choking him by the neck, and he said, I'm choking, I'm choking. He passed out, and he died. Oh, that was the guy in Queens. Yes, he was selling yes. cigarettes. That's what That yes. was his... Uh, I remember that. I yeah. remember that. A terrible, terrible thing. He was selling, what do they call them, singles? Yeah, yeah, he would like sell a single cigarette, yeah. 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 I remember that. That was an awful, awful thing. Yeah. Well, there are a lot of awful things going on lately, so, you know. But uh, but you started me smoking, so, but I quit, so. But I, 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 I was very, very good at quitting stuff. Do you remember we quit once in Chicago? And I don't remember. I, I remember I quit for about six weeks. And then I went, ah, I got it made. I can have a cigarette now. And then it was another. It was, it was, it was, <laughs> now, you know, I know, I certainly learned that about me. I cannot even have one. Yeah. Not one. Well, it was, even, it was like another 15 years of smoking again. So I quit once, and then I went back. And then I quit again in San Francisco in, I'm thinking it's like 1982, maybe, that I, that I uh, quit. And I've. Yeah, I've quit. You never smoked since. So, yeah. you know, when we were growing up, and you know, especially hitting teenage years and going to movies, um, the movie stars of the day and the movies that were made of that in that era yeah. made smoking cigarettes so glamorous. Yeah. Um, that if you know, if you were going, I don't think the phrase was around then, but if you were going to be one of the cool kids, um, you were going to smoke cigarettes. That's what you did. You know. Smoke cigarettes and drink martini. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember. I a wonderful scene. I think the movie's Dark Victory with Betty Davis when yeah. I've forgotten the male actor, but he lights two cigarettes and then hands one to her. Yeah. Um, and just, you know, they just made the movies made smoking so sexy. Oh, well, you want to talk about something else. So how the times when you went to uh, your doctor's? And oh, I used to sit after he'd examined me. Yeah. We'd go in his office after I got dressed again, and then he would offer me a cigarette, and we'd sit there smoking and talk about my health. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. You know, it, but it, it, that was great. That was doctor smoking. That was the, one of the one of the great things of all time. And uh, I mean, it's just that cigarettes were such a part of our lives. You know, here's what happened: uh, uh, cigarettes. We didn't. I don't think the tobacco companies knew cigarettes were dangerous. I mean, in the you be- don't think what? Say that again. The, the, the tobacco companies thought that cigarettes were dangerous. I think in the beginning, they had this misguided idea that it was okay, okay, and it was their business. It was when uh, suddenly, after many many years of people smoking a lot of these pre-made well, it was cigarettes, the Surgeon General's report in well, 1958. Yeah, that started that the, the change. But it wasn't until then that we started to see the cancers show up as a result of smoking. Because the kind of smoking we were doing had increased because of the of the mechanic the uh, what can we call the manufacturer of the cigarettes, right? You know, you get them pre-made. You don't have to roll them anymore or anything like that. So we just smoke m- Not unless smoke you were more. Smoking weed. And it wasn't until '58 <laughs> that we started to see the consequences. And then, of course, the the tobacco companies went into a state of denial, which they still are. Yeah, which they respect. still are. You know, they still do very well over in Europe and places like that. You know, but uh, uh, we we pretty well we pretty well knocked out smoking in in this country. I think I, I, it's it's not considered uh, uh, socially acceptable to smoke any longer. And I think that's and there's the, hardly anywhere in public that you can smoke anymore. Y- y- well, that they did that too. I mean, it started. One of the reasons I quit in 1982 is when they started saying you can't smoke in movie theaters anymore. <laughs> and I got tired of missing two-thirds of the movie because I was out having a cigarette, you know. Um, so I, I said I quit out of self-defense. But they did make it difficult for you, you know. They did not make it easy for you to, 
to smoke any longer. And that and that's still so. Yeah, and of course now, as I say, the price at eleven bucks a pack. I'm sorry, I I, I wouldn't be smoking. I know. wonder if it's the same in all states. I don't know. I, I, I think I think if you were to check, you see, you don't know what the cost of cigarettes is because you don't buy them anymore. Right. Like I don't know the cost of gasoline because I don't have a car. You know. Uh, but it's gone I, up this summer. <laughs> but, yeah, but I can I can ask you how much gas costs, and you can tell me without hesitation. Except I want to tell you about being an old lady and driving. Mm -hmm. Is that when I was a kid, there used to be a joke about um, um, about used cars dealers that, that they would try to sell somebody a used car by saying it was owned by a little old lady who only drove it to church on Sunday. Yeah. In my case, I don't spend too much for gasoline, whatever the price, because it's driven by me, a little old lady who only goes to the supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have my friend Shecky, who has a car that's 22 years old. Mm -hmm. and has 50,000 miles on it. That's like my car. Mine is 12 years old, and it has 41,000 miles really? on it. Really? And it had, had 11,000 when I bought it when it was two years old. And you drove it across the country once. No, I had it shipped. I didn't drive it across the oh, country. Oh, you had it shipped? Why didn't you drive it? Well, because, you know, there was the cat, and, the, you know, it was going to be difficult. And so it was easy to The cat to didn't like shift. cars? Pardon me? The cat didn't like cars? Well, you know, you were I, because he wasn't used to it. The two cats we had, we trained them to be okay in the car. But Ollie was a New York City cat. What did he know about cars? Yeah. So he would have he would have had to be in a container all day long on the road. I didn't think that was fair. And then you have to stop and get out the litter box and the food and the water. But I didn't want to do that for 3,000 miles. But you put them in the bottom of a plane. Well, but it's much faster. I guess. It's not days and days and days. Did he ever forgive you for that trip? I mean... <laughs> I don't know. You know You know that he's no longer uh, with us. Yes, Did right, I tell you right, that? right, yeah, okay. right, yeah. I miss him. I still think I hear him half the time. <laughs> you know? I think I see him out of the corner of my yeah, eye. Yeah, I know that feeling. I've had that happen with cats I've loved. You know. Also with people, I was once a friend had died, and a few days later, I was walking across Father Demos Square near Sixth Avenue in in New York, and I looked across the street. I was going to cross, and I thought I saw Peter, and I knew he had died the week before. And look, I thought I saw Peter there. It was the oddest thing. Well, I mean, I, I, uh, uh, I know that feeling of feeling, that, you know, you've had a cat around the house constantly and all of a sudden yeah. he's not there and somehow you, you feel still feel his presence, you know. You and do, you do. And then, of course, you keep finding toys he left somewhere in a corner, <laughs> things like that. Oh, <laughs> well, he was how oh, I him. Some people said I should go out and get another kitty right away. And I tell them, well, you know, if I had a husband and he died, I wouldn't go out and get a new one right away, and I want some time. Well, my question to you is, I mean, um, uh, you know, uh, how old was Ollie when he went? 14, 14. almost 14. So 14, 15, pretty good for a cat. You but know. my other cat, Bo Bannon, lived to be almost 20. So I didn't expect this. I was expecting Ollie to live as long as Bo Bennett. <laughs> well, Shabbos, who was our cat, lived to yes. be 18. Yeah. yeah, cats live a lot longer than most dogs. Oh yeah, oh yeah, absolutely, especially house cats. But yeah. if I am going to have another cat one day, and I'll know when the time comes, I'm going to look into adopting an y old you cat. You were saying that, you were saying that uh, a while back, and uh, yeah. uh, part of the reason is, is, of course, you know, you, you, you have a certain, uh, uh, y y you don't know what your sell-by date is. and. Uh, <laughs> I'm assuming it's shorter in my case than it used to be. <laughs> yeah, but you don't know what your sell-by date is, and so if you get a if you get a, a kitten, uh, you're probably never going to be around for its full life, even if you live to be like what 90 or whatever, you know. Yeah. Hey, listen, 90 is only 13 years away from me, you know. Yeah. Well, 19 is only 11 years away from me, so. So. Uh, but if but, I got an old no. cat, you know, Excuse maybe we would die about the age. You know, Ollie was hard to get along with. He wasn't a lap cat. He didn't like to be pet. Um, if I pet him too much, he'd bite my hand. Um, and so I used to worry that if I died from, especially after they told me I had pancreatic cancer, I used to worry that if I die, you know, will anybody else take him? Because 
he's hard to get along with. Um, and, you know, the only good thing about it, a little tiny good thing, is I don't have to worry about that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eh. That's, but I still miss him. Just of course every you moment of the Well, day. he was very much a part of your life, you know. I remember when you got him. He came yeah. from Philadelphia. Yeah. Oh, boy, he used to stay with you. Yes. Remember that time you took, I can't find it, but you sent me a photo of him sitting all sprawled on the sofa with a can of beer or soda or something. I still have some pictures of that. I still have those pictures. <laughs> yeah, he, no, he was, uh, he, but he was always very standoffish until I started working at the computer, and then he would start biting my legs. You know, and and he just used to bite my ankles if I didn't feed him fast. Just, enough just about the time, just about the time you were about to pick him up, you know, you were coming back from wherever you were, he would be very warm and nice to me, and then you show up, okay? <laughs> you know, uh, but I it, didn't stay away long enough. But, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, no, I think you he knew I, me that I might have stayed longer. I think he time. knew you were coming back, but he he was a he was a hot, he was a difficult. I'm I'm good at getting cats to like me. And he was a difficult cat to get to like you, you know. He, well, you know, he was one sixth wild serval, and I always wondered if that had anything. Oh, that to has do a lot to do with his standoffishness. It's also, only fifteen percent, but still, it's more than not. Probably <laughs> had a lot to do with his uh, death at at fourteen, too. This is the fact that he was a, a you know a very inbred breed or whatever that is, you know. Uh, but uh, it, it, let's explain. This was a uh, what do you call it? A savanna. They call the cat. Savanna cat. Yeah, savanna cat, and they're half serval, or part serval and part house cat. And I can't remember what breed Not of house. Not house cat. They're um, they're a, a breed of of I can't remember. The breed won't come to my blame old age right now. Yeah. Um, and uh, and some you know there was there was a pair of cats, brothers and sisters, who lived near me in New York. Who were 50% serval, and wow, a they were beautiful, but I, it's scary in the way that that you don't want to be up close. People and used to walk them in the animals. people used to walk them in the neighborhood with a leash. Yes, you did. Yes. Yeah, Be and they were huge. That's how I knew them. They were used, my, uh, another one of my ex girlfriends uh, who I went to see in Cleveland had gotten a serval. Uh, she was a sec. Uh, Not a serval. Well, I mean, a, a savanna. You mean a savanna, yeah. A savanna. And uh, this cat was huge. Just huge. Yeah, it's and I would w I would wake up in the morning, the cat would be standing on my chest, I could barely breathe, staring <laughs> at me, and it was like I was in the jungle, and some jungle cat was about ready to devour me. Yeah, they, I've come to not believe in hybrids. I think we should leave wild, wild, and domestic, domestic. Um, oh, by the I way, I had a, that kind of cat again. I had a, a, a our ex cleaning woman, also had a savanna. Oh, yeah. they are beautiful. They're oh, hard they're to beautiful resist. Cats. <laughs> they're beautiful they are cats. Gorgeous. They're beautiful cats, but they are uh, they're they're a bit of a uh, they're difficult. Are they all, or is it just mine? I don't know. I I think they all are kind of difficult, you know. Although I don't know the one my ex girlfriend had was he difficult? I don't think so particularly. You know, it seemed like it was And we came to understand each other, Ollie and me, but to a degree. Every once in a while we'd have an argument over the way yeah. we wanted things done. Yeah. But um, but as long as I didn't pet him too long, he wouldn't bite me. Any well, you, said, you know, it was kind of like one of those been there, done that when she showed me. Oh, I've got this unusual cat. And I went, <laughs> nah, I've seen those before. My, ex, my ex-wife has one, you know. And uh, so. So, you know, it's a little lonely around here without him. Yeah, I don't know. I've just never gotten a cat in the last many years because of uh, on the on the eighth floor of a building, and my wife loves to leave the windows open. Oh, you mentioned that. Yeah. When we were yeah, and we, we 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 have a cat. We cat sit, and then I put screens in all the windows because I have this this terrible fear of the cat committing suicide. I know he probably won't, but I I you know I I. Well, I, I mean it. it can you call it suicide if it's not intentional? Well, you know, I, I mean, know. I don't just, want when they come when the owners come back. I don't want to have to say, "Did you notice your cat was seriously depressed?" You know, <laughs> I mean, which is the old uh, Truman Capote line. Uh, right, uh, let me tell you something. We're done with cats for the next of these coming up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 
I, but I would love to have a cat. And she would love to have a dog. And I said, okay, you can have a dog, but you walk the fucking dog. That, exactly, exactly. You know? That's why, I mean, I don't have anything against dogs. I think they're pretty wonderful. But you have to walk them at least twice a day, and more is better. Yeah. And what if it's pouring down rain and it's freezing cold or you've got the flu? Um, you still have to walk the dog. I, not me. Yeah, and they, you know, then they poop too. You know, and then you got to pick up the poop. And I'm sorry. Well, I'm, you do I, that with cats too, so not. I, I don't want that. I don't want to clean up the poop. Okay. That's, you know, um, that's it. That doesn't bother me. But the the having to, I'm in the middle of something else, and the dog wants to go out. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Or as I said, pouring down rain or all of that other stuff. Hey, we've run out of time. Another again, uh, we have another twenty-five minutes of I'm our not life. I'm so sure this is wildly interesting. Oh, I think it's else, terrific. You know? I think it's terrific. Take it from me. I think it's terrific, and people enjoy you, and uh, uh, they they certainly uh, on, when you put it up on your site, they gobble it up. So you know. Uh, well, this one I will post on the anniversary day on Wednesday. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. This is the former wife of a radio announcer, uh, Ronnie Bennett. Thanks, Ronnie. You're welcome. Thank you. Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is Gabby, the Great American Broadcast Network. And that was my ex-wife. We like talking every now and then. It's nice when you can talk with an ex-wife, okay? Let it be a lesson to all my other ex-wives. I, I still talk. I, let's say I talk to you. I talk to Susan, and I talk to Ronnie, and I talk. I, the only one I don't talk to is girlfriend. Uh, it's a very silent relation. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Uh, let's see here. Was I married to anybody else? I was, well, I never. Linda was my first wife, and uh, I don't know what the fuck ever happened to her. And quite frankly, I don't care. Uh, she's probably dead by now. Uh, let me see here. Uh, also, let's see, there was, there was Linda, there was Ronnie, there was Susan, and now, of course, there is girlfriend. So, four times I've been married. Well, that's not bad over 78 years, is it? Mm, well, it's not exactly laudatory either. Let me, let me get rid of uh, my uh, music playing stuff and let me get up my Skype stuff so that I can open up the lines so people can call me. If they really even give a shit about calling me, we'll see. Okay. Our, uh, if you don't know how to get a hold of us, uh, it's a very simple process. To be very honest with you, you go over to uh, gabnet.net, and over on the right-hand side of the page is a complete tutorial on how to be a member of the Citizen Panel, and it's very easy. And I think if you ever did it, you would find it enjoyable. A lot of people are uh, sometimes hesitant. Hey, look who's here. First up tonight. Boy, he must be, uh, wait a minute. I'm, I'm seeing, I don't see, I don't see much of you because you're kind of dark. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. It's I got to turn this off, though, because it's um, driving, and I'm going to be turning the screen off. So let me know if you can still see me. Okay. Can, can you still see me? Not really, no. Really? Well, yeah. let me turn, can you still see me now? Yeah, yeah. All right, well, I can't see you, though. That's only because if uh, an officer pig fucker decides to uh, <laughs> look into my uh, window and see that there's streaming video, because I told you about this before, Alex. Yeah. Uh, then uh, you know he, he it, this won't pulled over. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, then we don't want you to get pulled over. So just um, you know, just uh, well, we can we can see the lights are hitting your face every now and then, and you know. And I have to turn the lights off too, of course. Because yeah. I, but we can see all the lights in back of you, so we feel like we're traveling in the car with Brian. Ha Hello, Phil. How are you? All right. How was your uh, medical foray we'll, today? We'll, we'll talk about that in a couple of minutes. Uh, uh. Uh, 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 Brian is... Oh, there we lost him now. See? Yeah, lost hmm. the picture. He's, there, he's, he's, there he is again. Okay. What's new, Brian? Anything new? You got a new job, all right? This is true. Yeah. Actually, uh, a new new job. A, a new a new new job. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, doing uh, doing a lot of what I did before when I first started calling into this program, only for a different company. Which was was hauling body parts. Well, uh, meds and other shit, 
to yeah. the airport and to various places. Only this time I'm an uh, independent contractor operating in my own vehicle. And uh, I'm uh, coming back from Scranton, Pennsylvania, going back to Pittsburgh. Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's good. Well, join in whenever you, whenever you need to. Uh, we'll just It's kind of a partially black screen, but we can see that there's some action in there. And occasionally when you hit a, a lamppost, you get, we get lights. Oh, there we see stuff streaming by you. Uh, how are you, Scott Boddicker? Good to see you, pal. I'm good. I'm good, Alex. What's happening you on your end of the world? Not, not anything. Just well, life goes on. Boy, you no just, wives to talk to, though. No, uh, that's good. I, every time I see you these days, I want to have a Dutch master cigar. <laughs> yeah, let me take my glasses off. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you really—that's a—that's a very interesting look you've gotten going for you. It's a—it's very Rembrandt. Is it good or bad? Uh, oh, it's good. You like it? Okay. Yeah, it's good. But how does your does your wife like it? Eh, she seems to adapted to it. Really? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. She does seems... she take you out in public? Yeah, we go oh. in public. Yeah. Does she walk near you? <laughs> um. No, I make her walk behind me like uh, five paces. Well, that's very oriental of you. <laughs> no, it's uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, uh, how are you doing, Phil? Uh, all right. Uh, I took the day off today. Why is that? Well, I uh, had a, a nuclear stress oh, test. Oh, you had the nuclear. Oh, I had one of those. That's wonderful. I, I was talking to my doctor today about the one that I had. Yeah. And, and he said, this is a very interesting fact that uh -huh. people who have had the nuclear stress test, what they do, folks, is they inject you with nuclear isotopes, all right? Mm -hmm. And then they go and put you in a machine and look inside you, right? Okay. Yeah, and it's called and, gamma yeah. camera. Yeah. Now, he has known people who have left the test and been stopped by the police because they thought he was carrying radioactive material because they, on the highways... People, you wonder how they how they stop nuclear devices from getting into cities and stuff. They yeah. have ways of checking for nuclear radiation. Hmm. And if huh. you're new, if you've been just been nuked, you you'll get stopped. You could get stopped by the cops. They said it would take about three days before I stopped glowing. <laughs> oh, did they say that? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I asked them. You know, I yeah. said. Uh, Hmm? Yeah, what, they put you on a treadmill first? Uh, yeah, the uh, first thing they did was inject... Uh, no, uh, yeah, they, the first thing they did was inject me without stress. Uh, oh, they I wait see. an hour. Yeah. Uh, and uh, they take a photo. And then uh, they put me on the treadmill, mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. make me do that, and then the last... And then I have to do one more minute where they're injecting me as I'm running on the treadmill. Uh, and then they take another photo. So, uh, uh, but you have to wait an hour uh, well, while well, the uh, well, little uh, things go around you. Well, no, what they did with me is they put me, uh, they didn't put me on a treadmill. They injected mm -hmm. me with some material that makes your heart beat like a little bunny rabbit. Right, right? because yours, it was a different deal. Yeah, and that's it was, but it was too... The stenosis. Yeah it, yeah, it was just too much. I mean, it was the most... Annoying thing. I thought of points. I, y yes, Scott. Oh, uh, uh, Brian had a question. Oh, Brian, you have a question? Yeah. yeah uh, I was just going to say, well, two things. One related to what we're talking about, and yeah. the other thing real quick. Uh, I, you, you got the news as much as I did, the good news that uh, Lucifer is being picked up by Netflix. That's, r that's right. And, uh, the and I'll tell you something else I'd like to see. I'd like to see a spinoff with the Kane character. If you've ever read yeah. uh, Sergeant Barry Sadler's uh, Casca, as in Casca Rufio Longinus, the man who executed Christ who lives forever. Yeah. So Sergeant after. Barry Sadler? He wrote, yeah, yeah, he, uh, he was an author. Um, he was an author. Yep, he was an Bar author, too. Oh, yep, he was an author. Great He's song. a hell of a guy. You should check his bio out. Very interesting guy. I very, very strong. <laughs> on the guitar. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. yeah, but uh, uh, they're, they're bringing... They're, they're, talent, they're bringing... They should make Kane... Reminds me a lot of uh, the the backstory of Kane. Yeah. Uh, reminds me a lot of uh, Casca. Kane, and I Kane. like the actor who plays yeah. it. He should have his own show. Well, he you know th that actor was the guy who played Superboy, 
on Smallville. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah. And he played Cain, then went on to play Cain on uh, on on Lucifer, in which it's Cain of Cain and Abel, and he's lived forever because he has the mark of Cain and he can't die. You can do it. You could grind him in a grinder and he would come back to life. You know. Um, the other thing I wanted to say that's related to this is, uh, as far as uh, nuclear weaponry is concerned, and smuggling it into the country, uh, even if you had it, if you had a device that was capable of wiping out uh, half the eastern seaboard, for example, uh, wouldn't matter if the cop stopped you 90 miles away from like Boston, Massachusetts. Right. You could just detonate the motherfucker right there right. and still accomplish your goal, uh, you or at least much. cause economic devastation. Yeah, but l let me let me say that uh, with uh, let's get back to Lucifer for a second. The good news is Netflix has picked it up. The oh bad news is they picked it up for 10 episodes. Well, they may be 10 more concise, better written episodes. I, I, I would believe so. And somebody said, are they going to be longer? And the producer said, probably not. They'll probably be 46 minutes each. But I think he's thinking in television terms right now. I think when they get down to doing it, they'll go... Hey, you know, we can make this an hour. And nobody's going to be pissed off at us for that. Unless they're testing you know. the waters. This is a prototype thing. I'm, I'm also happy because, uh, uh, as far as I know, this is the first time I've seen a live-action televised adaptation of a Vertigo uh, comic strip. Well, uh, there's another one, uh, I Zombie. Okay. Uh, uh, which is uh, uh, on uh, WB, and it's pretty good too. It hasn't been canceled. I wanted to watch that. I haven't been yeah. gotten around to But the thing yet. is, with this, this was just, I, it was a great show. And it's one of those shows now, in this day and age, the fans can save a show. Oh, yes, uh, they now, can. now, years ago, they did save a sh very famous show, the first one that was ever Family. saved. No, Star Trek. Okay. They, they were going to cancel it after two seasons, and because of the, the fan base... They went another season with it in that first run. But the thing is that today there's so many other options if a show gets kicked off the air. You it's know, not the original Shatner Star Trek, right? Right, yeah. You can go <laughs> over, you know, you can go over to, you know, Netflix. You can go over to Hulu. I mean, this thing, actually, there was kind of a bidding war going on here for, uh, for uh, uh, Lucifer because Hulu wanted it, Amazon wanted it, Netflix wanted it. Uh, and uh, Hulu has it had the reruns here in the United States. Uh, and, uh, Amazon, I think, had the rights to it in Europe, but Netflix also had a version of it in Europe, of the, of the ones so that were running just, CBS. What you just said there, Alex, tells me that uh, if, uh, if uh, uh, Netflix fucks with the cast and crew of uh, Lucifer the way that Fox did, uh, well, they've got two other, three other uh, uh, bidders who are willing to pick yeah, it up. Yeah, but I, and Netflix is not known with fucking around with people. They, they're, they're not. They're, their, they're attitude, not. Their, their attitude is and always has been uh, since the beginning with this doing original stuff is we have a belief in what you're doing. Go ahead and do it. We're not going to interfere and tell you what to do or not to do. Talk about Netflix yeah. shows, though. There's one thing. I don't know if you've checked this out or your wife may have checked it out. Uh, 13 Reasons Why. I, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't think I can watch that again. That, and, you know, I'm, I'm pretty cynical. Pretty, well, uh, 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 yeah, I, did, I, I watched about 10 minutes of it, and that was it for me. Uh, Do you know what I just picked up on? And here's another show that's been saved. There was a show on sci-fi called The Expanse that Damien really loves. And somebody wrote me about it. So I got my hands on the first two seasons. And I started watching one of them, and it's pretty damn good. Well... It got canceled by sci-fi, yeah. but Amazon has picked it up. Uh, just like it, uh, because they had such good, uh, they had such a good experience with Black Mirror out of England. Which, you know, Walmart has their streaming has their own streaming service too. Did you know that? Yeah. What are they? What are they streaming? Billy Graham. Uh, the Walmart. Uh, I think the Walmart's uh, streaming service is called Voodoo, Vudu. V U D U. You want, you want to know the streaming service that is just going to be, suck and is going to do terribly? Apple. <laughs> you know, it's just like Apple, you, you build phones, you know, you build... They're a lot like Nintendo in some sense. Yeah, in you don't, you don't, it, don't go into production. Top down, top down, 
no room for dissension, no room for, you know, independent thought. You know, whatever Tim Crook, <clears throat> I mean, Tim Cook says goes, whatever uh, uh, the head honcho at Nintendo says goes, it's the, they're, they're one and the same. And their idea, of a, their idea of a good time is hiring Oprah. Yeah. There is an original idea. Good luck. Boy. You know what I forgot to bring in here? I forgot to bring in my uh, my uh, my Snapple. I may have to go out and you, have you talk to each other and go get my Snapple in a couple of minutes because I'm getting thirsty. Well, you know, I didn't you do know, it. Jeff, Je uh, uh, I mean, Scott reminds me of Jeff Bridges. Just, just talk to each other for yeah, a second. Young Jeff Bridges. Oh, yeah. I guess see why you'd say that. Yeah. The big Lebowski. Yeah, that's a little old, bit. That's an older one, right? Yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, his father uh, was a big influence in my life. Uh, the Roy? Sea Hunt. The Sea Hunt. Oh, Lloyd sure. Bridges. Drew Bridges. Drew Bridges? Is that his name? No, his Lloyd. Father? Lloyd. The dad. Lloyd Bridges. Okay, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I, bought I, I remember him more from, I remember him more from uh, uh, the, Ooh. like, uh, Hot Shots what? movies and, the, you know, the parodies he did. But, yeah, I, I heard of Sea Hunt. Yeah, wasn't he in that airplane stuff? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know the airplane. That was Leslie Nielsen, but oh, uh, okay. Leslie Nielsen. That's, that's one, right. right. There's, there's another actor I respect from before he turned to comedy and afterward. But uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Lloyd yeah, Bridges. Yeah, I, I, he's he, he's interesting to me as well. Yeah, yeah. Have well, you had a good uh, time without me? Uh, yeah, you you can go back and get another Snapple for the rest of us. Yeah, all right? no, I forgot to get it, you know. So I didn't. Yeah, I was too busy with other stuff. So uh, don't you have weight service in your apartment? No, no, I don't. No, uh, no, no. no. You just clap your hands. The maid's, and your the maid's, wife the maid's off for the snap. night. His wife does, but not him. Yeah. Uh, no, actually, I'm the maid in the house. I I, That's think, what I figured. I figured as much. You know, you know, turn of the century apartments that were really big, those 25 room apartments. Uh, I remember in my friend's house, mm -hmm. there was uh, a like a button that you could push in each room. He had 33 we rooms. Have, we his. have a button. And and then in the kitchen, there's a uh, there's a box with different numbers that yeah. are like flags and they and they drop down. And they so let's say you're in room 13 and you want the maid to come in or you want the butler to, to bring something. You push the button. Well, it signals the thing in the kitchen. Where, and then where the our, servant where comes our dining in room table is there's a uh, supposedly I, I, there's a kind of a hole that's been puttied up. And what yeah. it was was it was a bell that you hit with your foot while you're eating dinner to get your, you know, your maid to come in and serve you. Uh, right. And also, there's another button we have that was also another one of those buttons in the living room. So there, mm -hmm. there were a lot of those. Yeah. But we, you know. Yeah. Well, uh, my friend's house, uh, uh, it, it, you know, it was uh, it even had maids quarters uh, that, that could service up to 10 maids uh, or 10, uh, 10 people. Well, we have, uh, we have our pantry. It used to be the maids quarters here. Really? And yeah. also in this building, in the other building building there yeah. were several apartments that were all for the staff of the various people who lived here where they could yeah. stay wow so, yeah yeah my my friend's house was in scarborough which is in westchester uh and it was built in 1901 by the vanderlip family who must have killed a lot of people to build a house that was on four acres in scarborough overlooking the hudson river but yeah uh, you yeah. know that that's how the maid system thing worked, and it was all original, and it and it worked. Yeah, well, this is this uh, you know, this is one of those apartments that had somewhat the same thing. I mean, yeah. it it had uh, also it had gas lights. You know, I mean, we didn't have, have electricity when it first opened up. The electricity right. was added later. Yeah, um, and um, in fact, I think they it, did it by electrifying the gas lights. Well, Didn't they it, wired it, it, through it, the pipes. It, 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 no, what I think they actually just put electricity in all the apartments. But what happened is, is it, there is no except for the bathroom where somebody did it when they redid the bathroom, and in the living room there is one wall switch. There are only two wall switches in the entire apartment house. 
all the rest of the things are like these. I, I, I don't know if you can see them up here. Can we see them? There are, oh, the we, we button? Some, we have some light. No, it's like, like uh, oh, it, uh, sconces. It's sconces, right. Uh, and you got to turn them all on and off by hand. Either that or you do what I do over here is I have like a torch lamp and I have it plugged into the wall. Well, you can also get these uh, remote control things. No, 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 but I can't do that. I can't no. do that. No, because these things, that's what got me, it really has me bothered is because, you know, I, people can tell their echoes, turn off the lamps or dim the <laughs> lamps, you know, and they can yeah. just have a, a, a switch, you know, a wall switch that works by remote control. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't do that here. There's just nothing like that here. Maybe I could do it in the bathroom, but that's it. You know, and. Uh, and you so, can't do it with uh, smart bulbs and uh, an iPhone. I, maybe there is. Maybe I could use a smart bulb, but come on, they're 40 bucks a piece. I to just be able to tell Echo to turn the lights on and off. I think I can do it on my own. <laughs> You know. Yeah, the height of laziness. You got to get one of those clappers. You know, you 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 clap on, clap off. That's old, Phil. And you make penicillin. Uh, you, uh, oh, we used to make fun of that in school. I remember when I was in high school and whatnot, or middle school. We we came up with an idea for instead of uh, uh, the the slogan, it goes clap on, clap on, clap off, clap on. It was a uh, slap on tampon. <laughs> Anyway, here's the here's the deal. Here's the deal. I've got what happened was I got these uh, as part of my genius because there are no lights in the closets, right? I went and got these Mr. Lights or something that you get, you get, and you put them there, and you could use them for outside. And then when somebody walks by them, they they start up, right? So that when somebody would open the door, I would get light in the in the closet. Well, then they came out with one that was brighter. So I got these bigger ones and installed them, and I had all these other ones, and I just put them down somewhere. And we found that whenever we walked by them at night, they went on. So I have them at various places like the bathroom, where when you walk in, this light goes on. It's called a night light. Kind of, yeah, but genius. these were... The, the, yeah, absolute genius. <laughs> no, it, it was genius on my part, because you couldn't <laughs> see in these fucking closets when you tried to go into them. Because there were no lights around to light them. Yeah. Hey, you know, I've been meaning to ask you, well, do you speak any Spanish? No. I mean, I just no. did. Uh, no. uh, now, you, you worked in Houston for a while, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that you might have jumped over the border and, uh, you know, you got any papers to prove that oh. you're in this country illegally? <laughs> there we go again. Here we go. Again. <laughs> was that trying? Was he trying to be a Texan or something? Yeah, he's, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. He's, does he, does he's, Phil, do you have any proof that you're not an asshole? He's putting so. down your people, Scott. <laughs> he might be. You know. Yeah. No, he's from Iowa. Yeah. Is there anything happening tonight? That the reason why we don't have more callers, or is it just nobody wants to talk to me? Uh, they uh, hate you. Everybody hates you, Alex. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think that's a good uh, it's a good assessment, you know. Yeah. Uh, there's one person. There's one person I hate on this network, and it sure as shit ain't it sure as shit ain't Alex. <laughs> you know, hates a strong a strong it's word. It's a strong word. You're right. It is. A, you're you're right. It is a strong word. Here's an even stronger one. Despise. Well, uh, I I don't. Um, if somebody doesn't agree with you, that means that you hate and despise them? No, I, I think he hates and despises them because this person hated and despised him. Right. So, yeah, not so, Bill, not you. You never, you'll never get anybody to come to around. You into submission, you know. Yeah, but you don't get people to come around your way of thinking by reacting the same way they react to you. I'm not. It's when it's when you resort to underhanded tactics and other venues to try to shame me and silence me into submission that's that's when you see my bad side that's you, you, you see don't want to you don't want to piss brian off he's the person most likely to commit mass murder on this program <laughs> <laughs> only when i really have nothing you know i mean if the day ever came serial. that i heard that he don't went worry. in somewhere and shot up like a mcdonald's okay I wouldn't be one of those guys who says, gee, he was such a nice you know, guy. You know, I mean, I, the last thing I expected out of him, no, 
No, it's pretty all much the first those, thing I expected. I can see that. All of those body parts that he was carrying, he was really uh, uh, going for the Jeffrey Dahmer uh, hey. uh, thing. He didn't work for anybody. Yeah. You know? He's just recycling. He's, uh, just up. he's just recycling. Just yeah. recycling yeah. his work. Yeah. Uh, that's how they make hot dogs. So anyway, we could use some more callers. I I don't know. And also, the listenership's a little low tonight, so I, I'm just wondering if something's going on, like a basketball game. It is, or, maybe it's Tuesday. Know. Because it's Tuesday, beginning of the week, it's summer vacation. People are doing shit, you know. Who knows? You know, I've, I, I've given up trying to get the logic in it all. Yeah, there, there's there's no logic. You know, uh, uh, I have uh, salespeople. They say, oh, there's no customers coming in. That's why my sales are low. And I, I tell them, you know, that's that's not why your sales are low. You're just not selling the ones that do come in, you know. Hey, hey, hey Phil, you need to get them to get those signs and stand out there and twirl them around and get customers in. Then uh, you know that's uh, that's an interesting thing you say. I am having a guy design uh, what's called a building wrap, and uh, and so the whole side of the building is going to be an American flag with uh, a silhouette of soldiers and, uh, you know, something like car uh, Carpet One uh, supports the troops. The city won't allow me to put a sign up that's, you know, that says my, the name of my store any larger than I have. So hey, I have Phil. to take it out and say it's art. You know, something, hey, Phil. Some, somebody... What about the... I was just going to say, hey, Phil, what about a play on the words Carpe Diem? <laughs> I had yeah. to call... I, you know, it's funny. I, I had something happen to me today. I yeah. I had to call a, a doctor to make an appointment, okay, yeah. uh, a, neuro, a neurologist. And um, by the way, you can't just, you know, in the old days, you want to go see a doctor, you call up the doctor, they say, well, we have Tuesdays, okay, how's Wednesday for you at 3 o'clock, you know? So six months before, from now. Uh, no, before. August 1st. August 1st. Uh, Three months? Two yeah. months. Yeah, well, my feet are about, hurting. About, about, you know. about six weeks. Yeah. I, I'm sure if I said it was a real emergency and I was on the uh, on death's door and I needed a neurologist, they'd grab me in tomorrow. But right, anyway, so, the so they said, so let me get some material on you. And it seemed like they had, they had my, uh, they immediately knew my address. And it turned out it's Mount Sinai. And because I had the ki kidney thing, you know, the kidney stone, I'm, uh, I'm, I have an account there. So anyway, she says, uh, so what's your Medicare number? And I'm going, yeah. And they said, uh, are you a veteran? Now, I've never been asked that question, really, you know, in, in those terms. And I had to think about it. And I went, well, I was in the military. And the first words out of her mouth were, thank you for your service. Well, wow. And I was about ready to say, do you know where I served? Hollywood, <laughs> California. Okay. Um, and I didn't have to wear a uniform, and blah 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 blah. I, I it it just was always kind of it's kinda, it was the first time I ever really had somebody say thank you for your service. Well, you did get a participation trophy, didn't you? No. Well, uh, you got a DD two fourteen. What's a DD two fourteen? That's uh, what they gave you when you uh, honorably discharged. Well, well, why do you know all this? You were never honorably discharged from anything. No, but my father was a Korean War veteran, and oh, I, I did uh, some things for him. There was a medal that they gave people that served in Korea. Actually, Marjorie sent away for my um, and got my my papers, my discharge papers. Yeah, uh, that's a DD two fourteen. So that if we ever want to, you know, get a VA loan, we can go get it. You know. Or maybe I want to go to school on the VA plan, you know? Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, things like that. Go to Harvard. Yeah. <laughs> but, no, I, I was amazed that, I, you know, I, I'm going, August 1st? God, you know, will I be alive by August 1st? You know? <laughs> that's a long way away. You should have said, look, I'm, I'm 78. Uh, I don't know, you know, August 1st, it's a long time, you know? <laughs> maybe they would have, uh, you know, done you a favor. Yeah. They can always get people in. You know, they can move his golf thing. And date. then they said, how old are you? And I was about ready to say, you mean by the time you see me? <laughs> 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 yeah, I was just, it was amazing to me. And then she said, the first date I have is August 2nd at, uh, at uh, 3 o'clock. 
And I said, oh. Don't you lose August 1st? And he said, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. And then she said, oh, but well, yeah, I have August 1st at 11.15 or something like that. And I said, okay, I'll take that. I'm thinking, boy, a whole day earlier. Wow. You know, so anyway, that was my. Well, on, on the treadmill, they got me up to uh, blood pressure of 214 over 87. Uh, you know, uh, they, well, I, I think they were trying to make me blow a gasket. Yeah, well, what did they What did they say? Was there any result? Uh, I haven't gotten it yet. Uh, I'll either get it tonight or tomorrow, and uh, uh, and you know, uh, I'll, I'll let yeah. you know. I won't be here tomorrow. I got uh, the photo club thing. The, oh, really? There, there is a lot better shine off your head from all the nuclear stuff, though. Today. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I. I don't know what it is with my lights here, but uh, well, uh, you should. Your joke should be the lights aren't on here. <laughs> yeah, <that's true. laughs> yeah. I missed that one. I'm, I'm full of I'm full of radiation. <laughs> well, you know, I, uh, uh, I I well, I went to the doctor today for my yearly checkup. I don't know what the, how the blood work's going to turn out, and it doesn't really matter. I mean, I think it's going to be all be fine. But every time I go, uh, they do, and he does an EKG. And the EKG always says blockage. Yeah. Okay. So, well, don't, don't get stunned. That's what I got. <laughs> well. Mine probably is. No, it, it, I do have a blockage. I do yeah. have a mild stenosis in my aortic valve. Mm. Uh, that means there's a calcium buildup or some buildup in the aorta, but it's very mild. And when I first got the test, it was a so so he said we haven't done it in two years, let's, you know, let's go do an echocardiogram. So he lies me on my side and he starts. They put all the jelly on you, which that stuff doesn't come off once they put it on you. you try to get it off with a Kleenex and it doesn't stick to the Kleenex and it's like sperm. Anyway, <laughs> no, they didn't do anything but uh, no jelly for me. They shaved a little bit. They stuck these little uh, 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 things with a button on it. Yeah, well, that's what they do with me. But they, well, There's I don't no have belly. any hair left on my body, so it doesn't matter. But anyway, so he, he, he goes and checks me. Now, f what was it, five years ago when I first had an echocardiogram, it was yeah. a nine, which is mild stenosis. Okay? So it's not, not even anything to worry about. He says, we'll do it another two years. Two years later, he does it. It's up to an 11. So now it's, two, now, it? it's, now it's up to two years later, and it's at a 12. And I mm -hmm. said, how bad is that? And he said, we start worrying at 40. <laughs> he 40. said, you could keep going up every year, one point. And it, you'd be dead before you ever saw a problem out of this aortic stenosis. So don't even That's good. don't even worry about it. He says you looks everything looks great in there. Your heart's terrific, you know. And then we got to talking about the PSA test. He says, ah, don't worry about that. They go up, they go down, they go sideways. He said, unless it's a really profoundly bad one. He well, said, did you tell him you just got to know? And even even if you came in and we tested you and we found out you had prostate cancer, we just say. Don't worry about it. Go home because it's so slow to progress at your um, age. My, my PSA it. is zero. Well, I know your PSA is zero. What are you bragging? <laughs> well, I'll brag. Okay, I still have a prostate. Okay. Yeah, what do you do with it? <laughs> well, I when I jerk off, something comes out. Yeah. Well, <laughs> my sheets stay clean. <laughs> <laughs> you know. No, they don't. He. he well, if you keep your diaper. That's when you're wearing the, yeah, exactly. When you're wearing the yeah. diaper, you beat me to it, Scott. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I went, but I went to the doctor and, uh, you know, uh, he, I forgot to tell him about just these cramps I've been getting in my legs every now and then, but I take uh, magnesium and then I don't get them. So yeah. it could have to Might do. Might be with, due to circulation. No, nah, it's probably more the diet. The low carb diet has a tendency. Now, when they tested you. Uh, but I forgot to mention this to him. What? My nutritionist told me to take magnesium, but she also told me to take vitamin D. That the two work I take, in concert. I take I take D every 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 month every day. Yeah, I me too. D. But uh, but I uh, uh, I'm not, and I forgot to tell him about the cramps in the legs. But he probably would have said the same thing. It's just probably lack of vitamins. Do this, do that. Um, 
because there's nothing terrible about getting cramps in the legs. If the cramps are terrible, <laughs> you know, they hurt. Um, but uh, I, uh, I I think basically uh, I'm I'm in fairly good shape, you know. The only for thing, seventy-eight, yes, you are. The only Friday. thing, the only, for, the for only seventy, thing, you're in great shape. The only what thing, is, the only thing that's wrong is this neuropathy, you know. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go see a, neuro, a, neuro, a neurologist about that. And he said, I said, the only thing I'm afraid of is they're gonna put me in an MRI machine and I can't go in an MRI because I. I'd go bonkers, right? They have open MRI. Well, no, he he said they can. He they may not even have to use an MRI. She can probably just assess what's going on and figure it out without having to put you in that. And there are a lot of other ways they can find out what it is without using an MRI. Can you put blinders on and it doesn't bother you? No, I just knowing that I am in yeah. a confined space uh, drives me nuts. We just lost. Uh, Gee, we, oh, we only temporary. have two people now. It's probably a temporary uh, loss. Yeah. Does anybody else want to call this program? Nah, you yeah. stuck with us. What? Yeah, no, it's okay. And we lost uh, Scott. It's just you and me, Phil. Well, he probably went to refill his wine. Oh, here comes Brian back again. Wait a minute. Let me see here. Uh, there we go. And Brian is... He's back. Must have hit a dead, dead spot or something. Yeah. Yeah. Now that he's back, we got to stop talking about him or it'll kill us. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, but, folks, we could use some more callers, okay? So don't let me sit here all alone with just these people, although I like them. I am I am technically traveling through Pencil Tucky, or as I call it, Pencil Fucky, as uh, what's his name? James, James Carville coined eloquently. Yeah. Yeah. Is is that uh, considered uh, the Ozark? Not the Ozarks, but the, where, where is uh, that area uh, where a lot of poor people live? Uh, and, and, and there's a trail, Appalachia, Appalachia or yeah, Appalachia? Yeah, trail? Appalachia. Yeah. Yeah. Now, it used to be a poor area. For all we know now, it's prime real estate. <laughs> I'm sure it is. <laughs> so, you know, it's global he, warming the way it is, it will be. People from New York are moving there yeah. and commuting. <laughs> yeah. So my uh, yeah uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, I I guess we should discuss the news. Of course. Right. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, you start, Phil. <laughs> well, I am glad that Trump is staying the course mm -hmm. and he's not acquiescing and backing down uh, to the propaganda that's being put forward with these kids separations and he's uh he's hold, he's holding his own he says i want the wall i want this you want the kids give me the wall he's negotiating and uh plus the fact that the kids when you arrest somebody because now the law on the books uh and has been on the books is that it's a crime so he's finally enforcing the laws that we have and by enforcing the laws, when you arrest somebody and they're with a ch child, you separate them. If you arrest somebody and they're with a dog, you put them in the, you know, you, you put them in, uh, you know, where dogs go. Doesn't this make you want to call, folks? But go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. And uh, so, you know, I just figured that I would be ready to. Uh, Phil, Phil, that is the most hilarious bit you've ever done on this show. It's a good one. That's a good <laughs> That's one. It's a good one. I mean, good. you had me really there. You had me there for a moment. Yeah. 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 Uh, 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 I had you at Trump. <laughs> I, instead of a wall, why don't we just build the ovens right now? Yeah, I think we should go straight to ovens. You know, the oh. there was a, a photographer that's been documenting this stuff uh, down in um, uh, uh, some city that uh, borders the Rio Grande. And I guess there was a two-year-old that he got a picture of, and, and it's, uh, it's running around where the two-year-old is, is crying and, and mm -hmm. saying, Daddy. And it and this picture has been uh, yeah. reposted. Yeah, and of course, we all know it's been, uh, that's photoshopped. Oh, no, no, the child actors. Any time. Child actors. Hi, yeah. Right. Any time that a child is separated from, from their parents, I would imagine this is, you know, normal uh, normal stuff. But unfortunately, yeah. it would happen if a guy knocked over a liquor store, got arrested, and he had his child in the car. I see. Okay. It's the same thing. Yeah, it's the same it's thing. Same thing. People, people, the law people, and, uh, yeah, people uh, coming across the border... 
trying to flee some kind of oppression is equal to somebody who robs a bank. If I see. To, if they went to the border crossing and they were with child, uh, they would not have been separated uh, when they asked for uh, uh, asylum. Asylum. Yes. No, but, no, that, that oh. separates them. No, they don't separate. Yeah. We're, not, we're getting a lot of noise out of you. Uh, uh, that, that's him grinding up body parts. Brian, Brian, there's a lot of noise there. What is that? Brian? Uh, I couldn't tell you, maybe. Yeah, your microphone was like over-modulating or something. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Uh -huh. Uh, uh, yeah, Phil. Well, I, it's, you're, you're right, Phil. So people break the law, we should steal their children. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, hey, it's, a, it's an unfortunate consequence. No, it's not an unfortunate it, consequence because there's something that could be done about it. He could just give the order to stop it. No, it's the it Democrats' fault. But, but it's the Democrats. We realize it's the Democrats' fault, asked, and you can't do anything about those, about those asshole Democrats. Right. You know? he, he's Obama asked Democrats. started it, for Christ's sake. To take care of DACA, to uh, but he wanted his wall, and he has been steadfast that he wants the wall. So he's got to get I Mexico give him to pay wall. for it. Hmm? That's what he said he wanted to do: get Mexico to pay for it. They will but holding him up. Well, when they want their kids back, they're going to have to pay. Well, these aren't Mexican kids; they're Guatemalans and Hondurans. And hey, I, I wonder. Scott, uh, seriously, when they come from Guatemala and Honduras and they go into Mexico, isn't that the country that should take them? Exactly. I agree with that. Yeah, I agree. So I, I, I agree. With, I agree with you, Phil. And I think these people are are no good loafers and uh, trying to come across our border is illegal. Uh, and I if you get we're arrested, insects. we're going to take your babies away from you. I think. Yeah, I, I, I think it's I a wonderful that. solution, and certainly the thing that made this country great. Uh, the left wing media said that they were insects. Get it right. Great, uh, great again. Well, he's making it great again. This is what yeah. made the country great by, before. By the baby. Yeah, we did. You know, we and, we said you know, there was a time when we killed Indians and stuff. We were this exactly. in our grand tradition. Whoa. How many Indian babies did we kill? We gotta get back to killing kids. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. You know, I like it. Oh boy, Phil. You know. Hey, it would, it would it, you know, it would give Brian something to do instead of, you know, killing adults. Uh, He's he, got more parts to sell. Exactly. I don't even know if he sells them. He might just, uh, you know, enjoy them. How many kids are there, uh, Scott? About 2,000 now they've got? 2,000. Something like that. 20, about 2,400 or something like that. <laughs> Well, the the, uh, the Nielsen gal, she said there were ten thousand, and then there's two thousand more. So I don't know, twelve thousand that they're housing right now down there. I don't know about the ten thousand. What? Uh, I don't know about the ten thousand. I think that since the law changed, there was twenty four hundred. What law changed? Uh, what they the interpretation that they were going to treat it as a criminal act rather than uh, a civil act, I believe. Oh, I see. I see. So there was no law, there's just interpretation, but it's the Democrats. Well, the, law, the law is there, but that's how it was not enforced. Well, the, the 10,000 were kids that were supposed to have been going there on their own without a oh. parent. To and begin, with, the, the to begin other, with, this law, whatever law they're referring to, uh, which is now becoming very vague, and even the president can't quote it, uh, it was, was created for the safety of children, not to put them in harm's way. And that was for children yeah. who didn't have parents and so on. Uh, so, uh, and, and what, no, what, here's, here's exactly what the president and Jeff Sessions, who are basically the devil incarnate, uh, have interpreted this whole thing to be. These people are committing a crime. Therefore, if we arrest them, we take, do what, exactly what we would do with a, a, a felon if we arrest them. We would That's then right. take their children and put them in foster homes. Okay. So these, these yeah. children that come over yeah. unaccompanied. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and this, is, this is like the most heinous crime of all time. These are just yeah. absolutely violently dangerous people. He, you know, there's, there's, it only takes uh, one uh, suitcase bomber 
uh, to get across. Yeah, well, no, have and any suitcase bombs come across yet? No, then that's shut the fuck up. The and shut the fuck up. We're enforcing the law. Oh, we're enforcing what law? Especially those 10-year-olds with the, the suitcase bombs. The bomb. laws that, you know, there's listen, a lot of even, those even the Republicans are agreeing that the laws he's quoting that exist don't exist. Well, I've been looking at some of the pictures of these supposed uh, separated children. Well, those are those that would have, those, hold on a second. They did like essential casting in Hollywood. And they hired kids to play the part of these kids. Well, yeah, I I'm know telling that. you, these 14-year-olds have, you know, full mustaches. They look like 20-year-olds. And they don't have any documentation. So when they say that they're being separated from their parents, you can't even prove that that's their parents. You know? Uh, oh, it, somebody it could, else, it, it, please yeah. call this program and help me out here. Hey, when, when uh, you know, we're having a convention in July in Montreal. And they put What's the this, word the convention out of heartless have, people. What is the convention? Right, uh, uh, the carpet convention. <laughs> the, the thing is, they put the word out that if you have a DUI, don't bother coming, because they're not going to let you into the country. Yeah, I know. I had my friend uh, Bob Rubin had that problem. Right, exactly. And so you know, they're keeping people out with a DUI that has been adjudicated and. Uh, they, they don't, uh, you know, they've either served their time, paid their fine, and they can't enter Canada. Yeah, listen, I don't want to buy, I don't, I don't want to buy carpet from a criminal. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, of course not. <laughs> I'm wondering how, how much attendance there's going to be this year. <laughs> you know? Well, there's going to be a lot of pot, though, up in Canada, because they just made it legal for the whole country. Sweet. Really? Another reason to go to Canada. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, so the, you know, well, I, I don't use pots, but I do have a frying pan. So. Pot? Oh, pots. Oh, okay, I see. The pot. Yeah. Oh, the Twitter. <laughs> Come on, folks. We only have 45 minutes of show left. Are any of you assholes going to call me? Yeah, well, they usually, you know, meander in uh, as I time I have no idea. By. There's a low audience level. Um, the audience or audio audience is large, large tonight, but, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And then, of course, uh, Jack does the show after me. I hope you guys will call him. You know. Yeah. What else do I have to do? I know. <laughs> I know. No. Nothing. This what? is my own. This is my life, Alex. You can't quit. Well, as you know, he's been doing the show by himself lately. So. Yes. He has. Yes. Well, yeah. But then, yes, I will call. Yes, please call him. We'd love to hear from you, Brian. He's actually asked for I have a He's actually, I have a lot of I have a lot of respect for the man, of course. Yes, of course. Um, but uh, it, uh, you know, uh, it's uh, it, he. So, and it, it's funny since uh, since he's been doing it all by himself, the numbers on it have gone up quite a bit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, it, you 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 called it right before I did, Alex, because you've been dealing with it before longer than I have. So, and you you've been dealing with it in a greater capacity. Well, I mean, in a more intimate capacity. Yeah, well, I you know, I don't tell so. people what to do with their shows, okay? Uh, I just say, hey, you want a show? They go, yeah, okay, go do it. And I don't tell them how to do it. If they, if he wants to have Hitler on as a permanent co-host, I don't, I'm not going to stop him, okay? <laughs> well, you got Phil, come on. I got <laughs> Phil, he's got, he can get Hitler. Uh, you know. Uh, I, you got Hitler Jr., <laughs> yeah, and I so I don't tell people uh, how to run their show, uh, but if they want my opinion about what do you think and how's it going, I'll be happy to tell them. Uh, and um, I, um, I just felt that when I heard from you, Brian, that you had been somehow chastised and not wanted on the show because a certain person was afraid that their campaign would be affected by you if they ever heard you on the show. Right. Uh, I, I went, that should not be a consideration. You know, the fact right. you're running for office should not dictate the programming of the show. And, and that's self-serving. And uh, uh, I simply said to Jack, uh, I'm going to lay down the law, the only law I will ever lay down. I you know, you want her on the show, that's fine. I don't want her campaigning on the show. The campaign right. should have nothing to do with the program. 
And when I hear that the reason she didn't want Brian on is because it might hurt her candidacy, I that's not good. You know, but there, there was a deeper reason than that. It was just uh, she just didn't either. She didn't well, just, I, just didn't like I'm me. I'm sure she. I'm like sure the, uh, that doesn't matter. What I'm saying, what matters to me was. And, and all I said, I didn't say she couldn't be on the show. I didn't tell her to get off of the show. I just said, she, I don't want her politic. Because all, every time I tune in, she'd be talking about her campaign this and her campaign that. And, you know, uh, uh, that, uh, and then when it finally came to a point where it affected the program and the decisions of who's going to be on that program or not be on that program, I said, that's it. No more campaigning on the show. And she decided to quit. Okay. Whatever. So it was up to her. Nobody fired her. Nobody told her to leave. You know, nobody told her to go. Uh, uh, You know, she was quite welcome to stay, but under certain conditions. You know, and if she worked for a radio station, let's say Jack were still on a regular radio station and she was still the co-host with him, if she ran for political office, she would have to stop being on the show until the campaign was over with. She has another show. I don't remember what night it is, but uh, she has her own show. It's like Monday afternoons or something. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that's fine. Go politic there. You know, but, I mean, nobody told her to leave. All, she, she made all that, the luck to her. Good she her. made that decision to herself. So uh, it's now, as it should have been in the beginning, the intersection with Jack Bishop. Because I gave him the show, you know, uh, and whatever baggage he wanted to bring along, fine. You know, I think he does a fine job on his own, you know, without anybody. Uh, and um, I thank you guys for keeping him company and calling the show. The other night I heard he had more people than I had, you know. He did have a bunch on Friday, I think it yeah, was, wasn't it? Yeah, and, and it's a much, I think it's a very good show now. I, I suggest that everybody listen to it and, and not, in, you know, ruin. Nobody's also chatting tonight. Wow, that's unusual. We don't have Forbin Colossus there. We don't have all those people who normally, you know, are are calling. I yeah. noticed, uh, I noticed uh, Jeff was has signing. Has Renee on. let you know what's going on in uh, Hawaii or uh, James Lee? Renee, no, Renee hasn't called in in days, in a yeah. week maybe. And James, uh, James uh, calls occasionally. You know, he's only an occasional. Yeah, I'm just wondering because he's a lot closer to the uh, volcano volcanic activity. Yeah. Than where it is. Yeah. Sit up yeah. straight, Allie. I, 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 it's very hard to sit up straight. Okay. I, I like to be relaxed. All right. So fuck you for. But anyway. <laughs> but he is writing. <laughs> yeah, he finally wrote. Um, you must have heard you saying there's no comments here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I got a, I got a note the other day by about somebody by saying. Uh, oh, you know, it's terrible that you only have 20 people watching. And I, uh, to begin with, the number you see on your screen has nothing to do with the number of people who watch the show over the show, okay? Yeah. Secondly, with all the other ways we distribute this show, each of these, each of these episodes reaches somewhere like around 500 people. Now, while that's not a lot for the Internet, it's something, yeah. you know? Uh, you found, since you stopped posting on Facebook... Uh, no, I, I, that I'm still fo- po- I'm still posting it on Facebook. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I uh, oh maybe it's you're not going out live on Facebook. No, when I was and going out live on Facebook, I got more people. Yes. Really? Yeah. Okay. So the other the other avenues haven't picked it up yet. But YouTube is 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 really quite perfect. Oh, here comes Ray Renati. What do you know? Okay, maybe. Crazy Ray. Maybe here, here, here comes here comes uh. Ray and Ray, um, let me let me bring this up to you because uh, it was being insinuated on. Uh, let's see if we get a picture on Ray. Where there he Hello? is? Oh, he's in his car. Co- right. Another person in their car. Boy, yeah, well, I figure it needs some help. Maybe we'll have the two of you sing songs and it could be carpool karaoke internet <laughs> style. <laughs> Who else is in the car? Oh, he's so dark. I can't. Yeah, well, that's that's. Screen. Yeah, but that's because it's it's daytime. It's nighttime out there where uh, there's Brian. There's a time is. differential between Mr. Renati and myself. Yeah. Oh, hey, what's going on, man? 
Yeah. How's it going? Yeah. All right. So anyway, right. anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. So, uh, Ray, uh, we were talking yeah. earlier about the fact that uh, Phil says that all these pictures of little kids and everything are phony. And they probably no, hired. said they're phony. I, I, I talked about it as being real, but being uh, uh, just normal. Uh, well, that that normal, would be the normal, normal reaction kids, of kids a behind kid. a chain link fence uh, with uh, thermal <laughs> blankets. This is normal. Hey, three hots in a cot. You know, these kids uh, charged across the border. Uh, <laughs> they were accomplices to these uh, uh. mothers and fathers. Uh, you know, they could they could have been uh, uh, mules carrying the drugs. <laughs> You know? Folks, I would I, I would fight this, but that would be only encouraging him. <laughs> this is I'm sorry for laughing. This is really <laughs> shitty, Phil. <laughs> How shitty is it? It's so shitty that, quite frankly, I've realized we don't live in America anymore. This is not the America that I believed existed. We're doing things which, if any other country were to do, then we'd be saying just ghastly things about them. We've been asking for world sanctions against them. Well, we're out of the United Nations uh, Human Rights and, Commission. And rightfully yeah. so. But, you know, they compare this to concentration camps. They compare it to what was done to the Japanese-American citizens that's, that's during World closer. War II. That's closer. That, uh, no, I wouldn't say it's not. It's because not like those were Americans that they what? ripped out of their homes and put them in camps. Were they really? This, these are criminals Coming they were criminals. They were That's spies. Bullshit. They're all these criminals coming, coming across. From... Every one of these is criminals. Yeah, especially the four-year-olds. Oh, God. You're so... Get the <laughs> fuck just... out of here. <laughs> I can't even laugh at that. By the way, when you go on your murder, ah. when you go on your murder binge, Brian, if the first yeah. one you kill is Phil, none of us will say a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think he would. Okay. No, he's not on my he's not on my hit list. Oh, you damn. know damn well. Uh, hey Alex, you know damn well who would be on my hit list. Yeah, well, yeah, of course. <laughs> well, I, I, I give you time. <laughs> yeah. uh, like I said, Phil, uh, I, I, people I, I I know friends who who I have friends in high school who then even in high school one in particular his name was John I won't say his last name of the year but uh, he makes you seem like Bernie Sanders in comparison. And we still talk every now and then on Facebook and whatnot. Hey, you know, I mean, in this in this world, in this country, in this country, you should be able to have the opinion you want and not be ridiculed for it. And you know, everybody gets uh, everybody gets their shot. Well, that was uh, before the internet. <laughs> yeah, I you know I don't try to change anybody else's mind. And uh, you know, and I respect. And, and your you opinion. know something, Phil? At the rate you're going, you're not going to. <laughs> well, I have, um, I have no desire. Nobody's going to teach anybody's opinion here. I got a special page for you, Alex. I mean, the only thing that I find amazing is that you went today for a checkup, and they actually found you did have a heart. Uh, <laughs> uh, I got results back, so uh, I'm not so sure. Yeah. Who was it? The Tin Man that the, didn't have the heart? Yes. Yeah, well, well, the blo uh, my bl my blood work, my blood work. Some represents yeah. a big oil. My blood that, work is yet to come yeah. back, so we don't know that I'm 100% out of the woods. But uh, I told my doctor, I said, to, to begin with, when he was doing this echocardiogram, he said, do you want me to talk to you or do you don't want me to talk to you? I said, why? He said, well, because some people are bothered if I talk to them while I'm doing this, because then when I pause and I'm just looking at something, they think there's something wrong. He said, so I can either give you the talking version or the no-talking version. I said, give me the talking version. And, uh, but he, he, uh, he was talking, you know, he was just saying that, you know, that, uh, uh, you know, you, everything looks fine. You know, you, you're, 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 at least I know that. Good. Good. But now we got to wait, like, for the blood work to come. Last year, my, all my cholesterol stuff was terrible. But it was because I somehow had forgotten to take my pill for a whole month. I forgot to put it in the little tray that I put every, all my pills in. And, and then when I d used the dr drugs, the statins, I had just wonderful numbers. And I probably should have much better numbers now that I'm working out for LDL cholesterol and so on. Well, did they do your A1C? What's uh, the A1C? 
That's oh yeah, that. I had that. Mine was high. That's I had your to go sugar. To the hospital and have a CT scan. Oh, yeah, my, my, sh uh, my sugar is fine. It's six point six uh, yesterday, or uh, but, when they did it. You know, Phil, um, there's a lot of false positives with A1C. That's why after the, if you have a high one, then you have to get a whole bunch of tests because the A1C might be a false positive, uh, which it was in my case. I had a really high A1C, so I had to go get all these CT scans I, I, yeah, and some I have, other things. I have very, I, few, I have very few sugars in my uh, in my system. So, yeah, yeah, uh, and, and, you know, and the, I don't, and I don't have diabetes either. So, well, that's good because that's that's the scourge, uh, yeah. diabetes. Yeah, you yeah. you have diabetes, right? Oh yeah, yeah. and uh, you know I was happy uh, with a six point six. I'd be a lot happier if it was under six, but uh, you know the other thing hey, is. Let me that ask you a question: Am I in your will at all? <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about sending you to my microphones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know, because I, I, I just, you know, uh, uh, do you have a will? No. And, oh, well, uh, I would I, get one. I thought about. I would get one because this is your get second. Trust. This is your will. second brush with death. Okay. Yeah. Well, you uh, get a, it, a, 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 a non. Uh, you should get a revocable trust with a will included in it. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I know. I mean, I, I got the name of a, an attorney that does those things. And uh, one of the first things uh, girlfriend did when we got married is she had wills made up. It was like yeah. I had the Grim Reaper looking over my shoulder. <laughs> yeah, I did mine like 20 years ago when I was in my early 40s, but it was weird. But I'm glad I did it. Glad we did it. Yeah. Nah, you know, you, you'd be surprised the things you think about when you go in for these kinds of operations and and, and so forth. And you know, as I was saying the other night. Uh, I was more worried about the mess that I would leave for, uh, you know, everybody else uh, because, you know, my paperwork is in disarray. Uh, I mean, even if you look at, to find my, uh, my life insurance, you can't find it. I mean, it's in a safe, but, you know, I, I, what I need to do is get like a three-ring binder and put everything in a three-ring binder in a very organized manner with extra keys yeah, but you won't do that, and someday when you drop dead, uh, your your lady friend is going to have to sort all this shit out. Yeah, well, that's yeah. why putting it in a three-ring binder with pages that, uh, you know, like those plastic pages yeah. that they use for photographs, yeah. and you and just put, put the stuff in there, extra keys, uh, life insurance, uh, all, all the important papers, birth certificate, you know, because they got to get those things for the death certificate. That's what my parents did. This they is all. all this is just. A, and they this had is, a one that, page where they, where it says where everything this, else is. This is such an it, uplifting discussion how, that we're this having. This is so here. cryptic. Well, well it hey, got hey, you more. Hey, it got you more participants. Hey, Jeff. <laughs> Hi. How are you, Jeff? Well, I had all kinds of problems with Skype tonight. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe maybe that's why we didn't have too many people here. I don't know. Uh, I tried about seven different ways to get on. <sighs> yeah. Um, and, and all of a sudden. Yeah. Well, I, uh, uh, by the way, I, 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 my, my mild stenosis hasn't gotten worse. So. Well, that's good. That was my good news for the day. No. However, what is that? however, they I've had they, they had the it, little it, hamster here named Phil Meyer on a treadmill today. Yeah. Um, they with, should, should get you a hamster wheel. That's what yeah, you know, do. the funny thing is, you know what they call that section? Nuclear medicine. Nuclear. Nuclear! <laughs> Nuclear. Nah, nah, yeah, nuke. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kim Jong-un will want to put him in a bomb or something. Jeff, did yeah. you just share a photo? Uh, I, I didn't. No. I did something. My, my, something flashed on my screen. I might have done it. I don't know. Yeah. But uh, I didn't even... Um, I, it's a screenshot. Uh, okay, well, let me see here. I can I can let the audience it. see I... it here. Hold on a second. There it is. It's a screenshot of me and of Jeff. And Jeff. I don't know what that is all about. Mm -hmm. you know. I, I might have done it accidentally because on the Skype uh, yeah. phone thing here, there's a little photo icon in the left corner. I might oh, have touched yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There we go. Well, anyway. 
Yeah. Uh, the audience, if, if anybody ever wants to send something, you can do that, and then I can actually show it here to mm. the audience. So. I can send a picture of my penis right now if you want. No, that's okay, Ray. <laughs> that's what are you, right. uh, it, trying to imitate Wiener? Uh, <laughs> no, there's no you imitation didn't ask necessary. Just send the penis. It was just a bulge. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah. If well, you but, think about yeah. what Wiener did, Okay. And the name. Oh. Well, I think I think the name is what killed him. Okay. I yeah. think to yeah. have a story about you uh, exposing yourself in photos on Facebook or whatever, or on Twitter, uh, is uh, and then have your name be Wiener. Those two things yeah. combined created the story. There's a yeah. lot of elected officials that have crazy names like Flake. Uh, Republican Jeff Flake. Uh, what, you know, can you imagine you selecting a flake? <laughs> or Bernie Madoff. Is. Well, Bernie Maybe. Madoff run for office. No, Bernie Madoff with your money, if, for instance. Okay. There's a... <laughs> Madoff with your fucking life savings. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> made you want to hang yourself up a bridge. Queens. What the majority what you say? of people that Madoff took were Jews. Yeah. Uh, and, they and, and and they deserved it. Greedy bastards. Yeah. Uh, it worked. Uh, we're uh, going uh, for that ten percent return. <laughs> Jeff, you say he was from Queens, right? That's right. Yeah. He was funny as a as a congressman. Uh, he was a good congressman. Oh, yeah. He was a great oh, congressman. Was oh, a, Wiener. Wiener. Yeah. 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 He was a real he was fighter. Oh, I'm gonna say, hey, I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Maybe when you have a name like Wiener, it's like a psychological thing from childhood. It's like people made fun of you, so when you grow up, you just can't help but, you know, show it, I used show to, it get, to everyone. Uh, I used to get... Oh, look, boner, 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 boner. Yeah, you know, I used to get, uh, you know, from the Gentiles on the bus, uh, Oscar Mayer Wiener, you know. <laughs> and that's why you turned out the way you did, right? Because you were so bitter from people making fun no, of you. No, no. My father taught me how to counteract this dirty Jew thing. Uh, he gave me a roll of dimes. I was in third grade. And he gave me a roll of dimes. I think you've told us this story before. You, you put it in your fist. And when Ray Price said dirty Jew, he says, you just whack him in the face as hard as you can. Well, I did. And he became my friend after that. He didn't see the roll of dimes. But my dad said, look, if they pull you into the principal's office for cold cock of this guy, yeah. break up the roll of dimes and just put the dimes in your pro in your pocket. <laughs> you know, don't waste them. <laughs> Who are you Smart married father. to? Somebody Mario Puzo created? What is this? <laughs> my father grew up in the tough part of Brooklyn. Yeah, apparently. Apparently. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but uh, he said uh, the the tough guys used to charge him a nickel to get across the street. So he got together with his friends, got six inch yeah. pieces of rubber hose, and charged the tough guys a dime to get back. So anyway, so, uh, shut up a second, Phil. Yeah, <laughs> you know, not possible. I, I want to say something. I mean, yeah. what's going on with these kids is pathetic and terrible. It yeah, is absolutely. a horrible. Horrible situation. It's been depressing me. And, to, and, and the president himself gave the order to effect, uh, make this effective. Okay? To, mm -hmm. a, 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 and, and he has the same ability to stop it. And he yes, does. Yes, he does. And, and but he that's, do not, that's and he, not what he promised the no, American people. No, he didn't promise oh, the American God. people to jail children. No, okay? he promised to seal the borders. Uh, from and uh, that are because so because he boost. was create because he created a xenophobia, and and you know that that that's just new speak for uh, whatever they want to say about Republicans. Look at the look on it's, Ray's face; it's like same old, same old, Phil. Well, the problem is, Phil, is you don't even realize you sound like a Nazi sympathizer. Veil <laughs> your papers. I mean, you do. Go read. Go read all the shit from back then. You sound just like the people uh, who just went along know, with it. You I understand what you're saying, but I also understand that our borders are porous and our security. Look at Germany right now. They're having uh, Merkel mania there. Uh, you know, they they want to get rid of her. Why? Because she opened up the borders, and now they've got trouble like you wouldn't believe. By the way, by yeah. the way, Phil, yeah. Phil, 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 that is a complete lie. The yeah. statistics yeah. that the German crime rate went up are statistics that are two years old. The current ones are the crime rate has gone down. But they so, made up those numbers. And they made up, yeah. How come they want to get rid of Merkel? 
and they her don't. her job is tenuous. Well, no, that's also exactly. what that, that's also what you hear. <laughs> exactly. That's also what you hear from just, your sources. The fact it's too is, hard to look at. I just, you know, it's not the case. <laughs> the case, fact is, the crime is actually about down twenty percent in Germany. Uh huh. She's considered the leader of the free world right now, Phil. They don't yeah. want to get rid of her. All right. Yeah. Well, she won't be leading for long. Uh, if uh, if the other reports that I hear are true, which, which are the other reports? Fox, Hannity, Ingram. Maybe Fox, maybe Hannity. But what do you got against them? They're they're, they're legitimate broadcasters. <laughs> oh, they're legitimate entertainers. They are they are the the they are the prime example of fake news. Well, you know. I see how the news you gets interpreted. You see that Steve Levitan is in the middle of the Let Tim talk. Yeah. Tim? You see uh, Steve Levitan, executive producer for Modern Family, is leaving Fox. They currently use Fox Studios. And he says he won't have anything to do with Fox anymore. So it's there's a crack in the dam, and there's gonna, it's gonna, the dam's going to burst pretty soon when it comes to Fox News. Should, oh, Fox News, but you shouldn't have to worry about the Fox Studios and the kind of the fact that both Comcast and Disney are. Yeah, to buying. begin with, to begin well, with. We here, don't know here, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on a second, Tim. You, you're, if Levitan said that, he's a fucking idiot, and I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> because well, he might be. because right. Murdoch is selling off Fox, and part of what he's selling off is Fox Studios. Okay. Mm-hmm. And it looks like it's going to be bought up by uh, who, who? Who's the current? Uh, uh, there are a couple of people it, now. I'll after take Com- Comcast over Disney, but Com- if there's others. Involved, Comcast then. wants it. Another Dis- one. Disney wants it. Uh, one of them is going to get Fox Studios. Therefore, Steve Levitan doesn't have to worry about well, but, dealing with that entity. Okay. Well, so- but but in his tweet, he said he's leaving. Regardless of who it's sold to, well, he acknowledged in the tweet that it's going to be sold, well, and he says he's leaving well, it regardless. And, and he's a fucking idiot. Well, he may be, but at least he took a stand. So, well, uh, it's taking you taking a stand. If it's an idiotic one, is not a stand. It's just an idiotic stance. You know. Well, why? Why is it? Idi- why is it idiotic? I miss that. Well, it's idiotic because Steve Levitan says I'm leaving because I don't want to be part of Fox, and Fox yeah. is being sold off. It's an, uh, they're, they're just trying to figure out the who right now. The, those entities like Fox Studios and so on, which he uses, won't even be owned by Rupert Murdoch anymore. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, maybe he's he just using it as, as an excuse. Yeah, it could be. <clears throat> who cares? Modern Family sucks anyway. You know, Trump has a history of making money off of uh, of uh, uh, immigrant children because he used to bring them in for his modeling agency and have them sign unbelievable contracts where they didn't make any money mm-hmm. and used them basically as, an, an, uh, you know, um, uh, almost like not quite a slave. But I don't know where that's had coming. Under uh, I, don't, I don't know where that's coming from. We weren't talking about modeling. You know. you know, this this whole thing, Trump is being an absolute bastard. I mean, he, he, he initiated this thing. This surprises you, you know, Ray. No, I mean, this is the <laughs> ultimate, though. He, he, we, people found out about it, and now he's saying, I'm just, I'm just carrying out the law as the Democrats put it in, and I, I have no choice in the matter. Uh, it's like... Uh, but it's all, Miller he's, doing. Kelly, it's all no. he's doing, and he's making it sound like, oh, no, I'm just following the law as, as I have to follow it. So you can't blame me. I mean, it, Miller, so Miller and Stephen Miller and Kelly, John Kelly, both over the last two years have been pushing this policy, and they said they were going to do it, and they said it was going to be their policy change. So, that, you know, Trump's full of crap. Exactly. And, and it's all on tape. It's all written down. Uh, and uh, you know who needs to quit is Nielsen. And this Kelly on Conway person. Oh my God! Did you, see did, you, did, did you see what Lee Wandowski did today? Alex, yes, you no. called her best. You called her Kelly and Cuntface not long before I started participating in this program. Did I, I remember did I call her that? That's hilarious. Well, you know, I mean, uh, was, uh, look, hold on a second. Hold, hold on a second. Hold, hold on a second. To begin with, you know, you're 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 shooting the messenger 
in, I know. you know, in but that. She's a damn her, good messenger. And she's a, she's is, a very good ma messenger. She speaks well for her side. I don't know how she does it. I don't know how she can do it with a good, with a straight face and with a good conscience. But she does it well. Uh, but you know, you, you don't shoot the messenger. Uh, you got to shoot the the person she's doing the message for. And but, but, but people feel helpless, and we can't shoot them. Although I wish somebody would. Look, we can are you... so helpless that I've just I'm I, I've given up. I don't think there's anything we can do about this. The guy is going to keep lying. Everything that comes out of his mouth is a lie. He's a habitual liar. He's a serial liar. Uh, he d never tells the truth. And uh, you know, uh, what, what are we going to do about it? You know, nothing. We can't do a damn thing. I called. Uh, Barbara Boxer's off office yesterday. I just felt hold like on, I hold on a second. Let me, God, let me, that felt like a, an exercise in futility. Yeah. Now hold on a second. Uh, 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 um, um, Jeff, are you still there? I think I'm here. Yeah, but turn on your camera. Your, <laughs> your camera is on. Sure I know my camera's not going. <laughs> I feel as though I might be here. <laughs> <laughs> Now you're. I you, hope the fuck Christ, I'm here. <laughs> you don't have a camera icon there. Oh, there we none go. Of us are there actually. you are. There you are. According to Elon myself. Musk, none of us are here. We're all just video game avatars. Really? Anyway, yeah. Not to, uh, we're all living in a simulation. Compulsive yeah. video game play is a mental disorder. Yeah, I read that. It's true. That explains I, a lot. I have a son with it. Yeah, I almost finished. I'm almost finished with Tomb Raider. It was, yeah, it was about about uh, twenty hours wasted in my life. But you yeah, know, what were you gonna do with those other twenty hours? Then? I don't Watch know. Fake news. I, oh, it was either, Learn how to play harmonica. And if <laughs> if I didn't do the, the 20, 20 hours of that, I'd be jerking off. So it's better I'm doing I'm doing video twenty games. hours of jerking off. Wow, like in a week? <laughs> a day. A day. A what day. are you saying? A day. That's a big day. Hey, I don't have a God job. Damn. I have nothing else to do but jerk off. <laughs> you know? I only hope my, my sex drive is half as potent as yours, Alex. No, I, I, don't, I don't think I have a sex drive anymore. I think it's just purely habitual. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know, and then it was, it was terrible. It was terrible. Three days before I, I took my blood test today, I didn't do anything to stimulate myself because that oh, could hurt yes, the PSA yeah. test. In fact, my doctor <laughs> said, you can hurt a PSA test by sitting on a hard stool before taking the blood <laughs> test. You can lose your virginity just by riding a bicycle. So uh, I had or to stay away from all right pornography now. for three days. That's do you know how girl. difficult that was? It's yeah. like that yeah. scene. And you ever see the movie Scary Movie with the... Uh, <clears throat> Then Wayans Brothers directed it back in the, like, 99 yeah. or 98. Yeah. You heard the first scary movie? Yeah. Whenever the guy uh, finally jerks off all over his, or finally shoots his load all over his girlfriend. He, he, he's been holding it in for, like, weeks, and he explodes like a geyser. He pins her to the, pins her to the ceiling. She's stuck to the ceiling, and meanwhile, the camera pans back to the guy who just blew his load, and he looks like a fucking Ethiopian because he had all that scene. On, on, uh, on uh, uh, what do you There's call it? There's something about Mary. That uh, was a good uh, one. What, what, what's, the, uh, what's the channel I'm trying to think of now? Uh, Star Stars. Uh, they have Sorry. a show called Ash vs. Evil Dead, which yeah. I, is one of my guilty pleasures. And what, the, yeah, I like the Evil Dead movies. This, every episode has some gory scene in it. And the gory scene in the second episode, I think, was he starts fighting evil in a sperm bank. <laughs> and, there, and there's sperm flying everywhere. <laughs> Star, Stars is the station with, the, with the, all the gore and the soft porn, huh? No, they, they also have oh. a lot of other stuff. They have a great show over oh. there. It's called, uh, uh, is Counterpoint, was it? Uh, with J.K. Simmons as the star, it's a great show. It's about we we live in two worlds. There are two worlds, and they're oh. mirror worlds to each other. And we can travel b between them, and we have a diplomacy going on between them. It's, it's like Fringe. It's like Fringe. Oh uh, yeah, right, Fringe. Yeah. Back in the late seventies, two, two realities. They had a show called Aerobicize. You know, they well, they were fully dressed. Well, these aren't dual realities. 
these are, these are, they're very knowledgeable that this other world, exactly like theirs, has been created, but it's not necessarily the same thing. One of these worlds, most of the people got wiped out in a plague. Wait, you know. don't you think we should continue with Phil's complete non sequitur? Yeah, what was that? Oh, well, it was something I mean, about a show about called about The Robicide. show that were provocative, and I always liked a Robicide, which was, uh, it was like a Busby Berkeley uh, uh, choreographed uh, exercise show that was... Zumba, Zumba, Zumba. Huh? No, no it's, I know what you're talking about, Phil. I used to watch it in the morning... Yeah. Or um, there was porn on the computer. Right. Yeah, yeah. it was robicides. Yeah. And, uh, we would have know. these girls doing sexy yoga and stuff in like yeah. Jane Fonda clothes. Uh, by yeah, the way, yeah, let's yeah. also let's also mention that that was back in the day, and there was a time, ladies and gentlemen, where women actually had pubic hair. So it was, you know. <laughs> yeah, it was considered cool to have a big bush. Yeah. Are we going to have to change our name from the citizens um, to the uh, degenerate? Oh, we uh, call it the call it the. We don't have to change our name. <laughs> well, Amy doesn't let us talk like this, so we got to be able to do it somewhere. Well, Fuck you her. Know, I Fuck her beat up on Amy. She's a very nice person. I know. Uh, I love her. Yeah. She doesn't. She, but she's much. She's much more civilized. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were civilized once. Yeah. Age four, maybe. Well. You know, I mean, what is what does your T-shirt say, Phil? What is that? Hate cops. Yeah, hate cops. The That's next pushing. time you need help, call a crackhead. Oh, Jesus. No, Phil, I'll call myself. I'll handle it myself. <laughs> that doesn't I, I even make that, 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 that shirt doesn't even make sense. I get what it what he's saying. Yeah, but it's well, you know, some people hate cops. Oh, if you need I'm help, on. call a crackhead. No, you call the crack dealer, not the crack head. Oh, well. The dealer's got plenty of resources. Call the crack yeah. dealer's attorney. Yeah, yeah the crack the, head's going like to be useless. They're, they're better at handling justice than the, than the pigs ever were. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. you know, cop shirts. Pigs. I haven't heard that in a long time. Pigs. Wait, oh, wait, smell wait. It's still a, still a good, it's, yeah, I still say that, too. It's still a good term. Still oh, you, oh, by the way, by the way, by the way, have you, heard the, have, have you heard the latest about the Roseanne show? No, nope. they've got they they every time they try to start this thing up, right? They it looks like it's ready to go, and then somebody throws a wrench into the works. And the biggest wrench in the works is Roseanne, right. not by her oh, own yeah. fault, because Roseanne has said, "I'm willing to give up all rights to the show to make sure these people get employed," which was very nice of her and what she should have said. Okay. But now the, the Screenwriters Guild is entering into the fray. And she it's, has to be given creative credit. It has to be given creative credit. So, right. so the, it, it's a constant fight. They want to keep her name off the show, but they can't. Because this according to the change, Screenwriters she, Guild... She should change her name legally, then nobody would know. You Why don't you just change the name of the show? No, it isn't a matter of changing the name of the show. Their characters based... The characters were, uh, developed uh, by her. were developed by her. They were based on characters by Roseanne Barr. And so, therefore, I, the Writers Guild says she must get a credit for any of these characters appearing in a show. They could change the name of the show to Darlene. They could, uh, you know, they could kill off a character here or there. Or, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, too much What's noise. That noise? Uh, Brian. It's probably me. Yes, turn. Holy yeah. Goddamn. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, yeah. she can call herself uh, Roseanne Arnold. No, no, but all I'm saying is that that is the biggest problem now. And a lot of people don't want to be on the show if she has her name on it. So, huh. the, yes, she should change yes, her, name, her legal name to Anonymous. Then they can display Anonymous on there, and 99% of the people would never know. Ray? Yeah. I have, I, have a, I have a new opinion about this Roseanne. Well, not a new one, but it's solidified my opinion. I have been thinking about this and listening to various comedians, um, and what she said is tame compared to what a lot of comedians say on a regular basis, on television, all over the place. I can't even remember. And what did she say? I forgot what she said. I, it, now. it was just she said something she said across. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like right, the, the right, right. Uh, uh, Jared. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, calling and, her a cross between uh, whatever and uh, an ape yeah, and a, uh, a and, planet and, of the And when I looked at the woman, she actually does. I mean, it's like I was watching uh, a couple of Lisa Lampanelli uh, rants. Shows. Yeah. Man, I mean, holy shit! What Roseanne? What Roseanne said? I have to say, is actually kind of true. The woman does look exactly like Roseanne. It was kind of funny. I, look, I, 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 look, I, 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 if I were the, uh, uh, that uh, called her cunt, uh, that was, uh, uh, yeah, Samantha she called B. Her, uh, uh, no, fucking she, something. No, or... she didn't call her anything. Didn't call uh, her anything. Because it got she, bleeped. She, it got bleeped. That, oh, wait a minute, let me finish. Let me finish. It got, wait a minute, it got wait. bleeped. Will you let me finish, Phil? She did if, the, if, you, she, if you up my salary. She did the she did the 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 bit. They wrote the bit, and they said, yeah. "Okay, we'll say it. We know it will get bleep, but everybody in the studio will laugh at it." So it never the intention on their part was never even to have that word go out over the air. Alex, they might have even released it bleeped. It was released bleeped, and in fact, I yeah. had a subtitled copy of it, which I showed here on the program. Uh, or a frame of it in which you see that the 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 subtitle has star star it Trump. says bleep it says bleep that in was, there that was about Ivanka Trump it yeah. was not about Melania this Melania Come one on. just happened oh. uh, a day or two ago and it was the same kind of thing that who was the girl that had the head of uh, of Trump with a bloody Kathy head Kathy Griffiths Kathy, Kathy Griffith. Griffith. I think it was no, her. No, it wasn't her. Yeah. She didn't say anything. She's been very uh, no, quiet. No, just recently no, there was uh, something quiet. about. Yeah, I'm not. Gonna, I think you're probably wrong. But if you can find I'll it, I'll look let it up me, in a second. But uh, of course. Well, well, you know, she, uh, Melania has come out uh, against the uh, the housing of the children and all of these things, along with uh, all the other living uh, first ladies. Uh, you know, I think she's oh, getting a uh, bad rap. La Laura Bush. Wait a minute. No, no, no. 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 If she was serious, she would go visit these detention centers and bring cameras with her if she had any balls. She has well, no balls. No, but also she... Oh, she's a woman. No, she probably has some kind of a, a agreement to the she signed years ago with Donald where she yeah, can't it's, do it's that part, sort of thing. It's, but, it's but part of her, prenup. <laughs> yeah, but look, Tim, she came out and, and, and publicly... Condemned what was going on. She's she's Phil, an immigrant. Why are you, Her parents are, you are immigrants. She should go visit. I, I, I think like if you want to see if you want to see do. the best comment of them all, the Laura Bush comment was pretty damn good. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Ray asked me a question. Why, Phil, are you standing up for her, uh, feeling bad about the children when you yourself don't do not feel bad That's about not the children? That's not true. I, I just do it to 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 give you a raz so we can have some conversation. Ah, oh, oh, wait a minute. The truth man. comes out now. You've really hey, Phil, been a communist you, all along. You find out. Hey, Phil, do you agree with Corey Lewandowski and what he said today? I didn't hear what he said. Okay, somebody was talking about uh, a Down syndrome child being taken away from their mother. And Corey Lewandowski was on the panel and he said, wah, wah. That's the kind of people we're dealing with. Maybe he was imitating well, the kid crying. Yeah. yeah, he was making a joke out of it. You yeah. know, uh, it's not a joke. And but Corey Lewandowski is not part of the Trump campaign. He's part We're, of the he's part of the big mouthpiece. No, and if, if if Trump didn't have all, right, all, right. all these supporters, all right. some of which are getting paid, Trump would be nowhere. Hey, he's so a. So I disagree on Conway. I think she's responsible, and she's making a ton of money off of this crap. Anyway, uh, listen. Be fine. It would be hard to find a messenger as good as her. I mean, she does what she does so well, it's scary. Rick Kelly and um, Conway, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Very good at what she does. Yeah. But her, her husband can, out, can undo some of it, what she's done on, a, on an op-ed here and there. Yeah. Okay, wow. well, anyway. Hey, listen, it's uh, time for us to go. Uh, Phil, thank Bye. you, as usual, uh, for your scintillating comments, all of which I heartily adhere to. And uh, yes, and, and 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 feel that you're right. And uh, uh, thank you so very much. And uh, oh, no, by, no the, problem. by the way, Bri uh, Brian, Brian will be visiting you very soon. <laughs> thank you, Brian. Well, Body parts, uh, you know, uh, between the radioactive stuff may not be resellable. Yes. Okay. And thanks. Probably not. 
Thanks to uh, Scott Boddicker. Thanks to, to you, Jeff. I'm glad you got your equipment working. Uh, I'm glad I got my equipment working. Uh, and and uh, thanks to, of course, uh, Brian, who has been in a car. Basically, we've been seeing black. And in another car is Ray Renati. Thank you, Ray. And uh, you also betcha. thank you to uh, uh, to Jeff, uh, to uh, yeah, to uh, Tim for calling. So that's our that's our citizens panel. It might be nice if you would all like to give a big wave goodbye. Okay, and there they go, folks. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Well, that was all fun and games, and we hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I think you'll enjoy more if you stick around because uh, coming right up is the intersection with Jack Bishop over most of these same Gabnet stations. One o'clock this morning, it's a fine show called Connections, uh, and uh, they're coming to us out of uh, Florida, believe it or not. And uh, they will be here at one o'clock Eastern Daylight Time tomorrow night. And we start at 8.30 with the franchise MC in the arena. It's a sports show, followed by Damian Chaplin. He's on the exchange at 9.30 Eastern Daylight Time. And then at 10 Eastern Daylight Time, I'll be back. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye, everybody. Bye.